elbow, out to Rogo for three, corner three! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's broadcast featuring Tiffin Columbian and Anthony Wayne live right here on Heart of Ohio Sports. We are live inside Tiffin Columbian Gymnasium. Nate Mullins and Greg Kinn on the call with you tonight. We've got Bailey Mullins manning the cameras. Tonight's broadcast presented by Scudette Mexican Restaurant in the Tiffin Mall. Thanks again for tuning in with us. We want to go ahead and thank all of our sponsors for bringing you tonight's matchup right here on Heart of Ohio Sports. Thanks to Scottette Mexican Restaurant, UIS Insurance and Investments, First National Bank of Sycamore, Phillips Electric, MST Sauce Company, Your Legacy Federal Credit Union, TPC Food Service, Rogers Flowers, Steinman Signs and Graphic Inc., Benchwarmers Restaurant and Delivery, Buckeye IT, TJ Willie's Fine Foods, Fiesel's Frame and Collision, Five Star Maintenance, Klaus Electric, Sarah Risen, Century 21 Bolte in Tiffin, and Pyramid Recruiting Offices, all proud sponsors right here on Heart of Ohio Sports. All right, once again, tonight's broadcast features Tiffin Columbian and the Anthony Wayne Generals. And folks, I'm telling you what, this is going to be a great matchup. Thanks for tuning in here with us on the pulse of the Buckeye State. Let's get into this one. Let's talk about the keys to the game. And, of course, you're tuning into the pregame show brought to you by Rogers Flowers. But well, let's talk about those keys to the game. Greg, this one's one that we really got to get into here. We got a few minutes to break this one down before we get started. And, of course, we'll have the opening lineups and the opening tip coming to you next, brought to you by Phillips Electric. But let's talk about this one. We've got a couple of you – know, we were just here Thursday. Just two nights ago, we were here calling a game, Tiffin Columbian versus Perkins, and that was an exciting ball game, Greg. Oh, oh, absolutely, but you saw in that game, Nate, that it took Columbian a good, the whole first half of the game, they had to find themselves and get warmed up, and then they came out in the second half firing on all cylinders, but yeah, it took them a whole first half of that game to get to where they knew they could be playing on that night, so hopefully we don't say that, see that here tonight, because... I know you've been watching here in the pregame and the JV game and stuff, and you said these Anthony Wayne Generals are not to be messed with. They look like a tough team here tonight. Yeah, and they came ready to fire on all cylinders, especially on JV. That team was, I mean, that was tough to stop. They beat Tiffin Columbian's JV team by uh, double digits, and it was a double-digit game most of the game. Of course, JV, start, they started to make a way back towards the end of the game, but... Man, those generals were feisty. They were smothering on defense. And if that's any indication to what we're going to see tonight from this varsity squad, well, Tiffin Columbia better be locked in. Uh, Tiffin Columbia comes in tonight at 12-4. They are 6-3 in the Sandusky Bay Conference in the Lake Division. After starting out 6-0, Tiffin Columbia went into a little bit of a slump, losing four of their next eight games. They put together a nice little two-game winning streak on the strength of some blowout wins over Kenton and Perkins. Now the Tornadoes play host to the Generals here at Columbian Gymnasium, where they are 6-1 on the season. They face a tough test here tonight with a battle-tested Anthony Wayne Generals team that is coming in hot at 9-6, 7-2 within the Northern Lake Conference. And the Generals come in tonight riding a four-game winning streak. Fresh off a buzzer-beating three last night by senior point guard Parker Schofield to beat Springfield last night at home. Outside of league play, Anthony Wayne is just 2-4. and four. A key stat here tonight as they face off against a very tough Tornado squad on the road. Columbian got a strong showing from Isaac Garcia this past Thursday night as he poured in 16 points, hitting four three-pointers along the way. Look for Logan Beeson to go off tonight. He has 29 points to overtake the lead as Columbian's all-time leading scorer. Oh, he wow. had just 12 points the other night, so 28 to tie, 29 to take the lead as the all-time leading scorer here at Tiffin Columbian. He just had 12 the other night. He's going to have to get going early and often. I think they're going to try to feed him early to try to get that record here at home because before they go on the road for a couple of games. Oh, it sure would be nice to have such an accomplishment here under your own home roof. Absolutely. No about that. Well, we've got the opening tip coming to you next, brought to you by Phillips Electric. But first, let's talk about those keys to the game, Greg. For Tiffin Columbian tonight, I really think their key is going to be rebound. They have to find a way to rebound the basketball on both ends of the floor. They've got to come up with some second chance opportunities, and they have to clean the glass on the defensive end of the floor. They cannot allow Anthony Wayne any second chance opportunities, really. That's the key for Tiffin Columbian. Rebound, rebound, rebound. If they can win the rebound battle here tonight, they should be able to come away with a victory against the Generals. But for Anthony Wayne, they got to get to the rim, Greg. A Colombian's allowing their opponents to shoot from 48% from the field, but it's when teams settle for those three-point shots outside their comfort zone that Colombian's able to get, in, get out in transition. 
They're going to encourage you to shoot that long three because they do such a great job of securing the loose ball and getting long rebounds. Columbia may not have that dominant post presence, but they get it done on the glass, Greg. These generals are going to need to attack the rim to be successful here tonight. You're absolutely right about that, Nate. What a great breakdown you had there for us here to start this one off. I think we're about to hit the national anthem here. All right, we'll join the Colombian. Oh, usually it's a pet band, but no pet band. Oh, oh a middle school student's going to sing us the anthem here tonight. Lainey Woodruff, I think is what he said. I hope I got her name right. Well wow. done. Yeah. Very well done. That was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful rendition of the national anthem, courtesy of uh, middle schooler. I'll get her name here in just a minute. I'll talk with Tony. I'll make sure we give her the credit she deserves because that was outstanding. But we have starting lineups coming to you next here. And uh, we've got the away team cheerleaders first. Yeah, we've got the away team cheerleaders there introducing. Um, once again, we want to take a moment and thank all of our sponsors for bringing you tonight's broadcast here on Heart of Ohio Sports. Thanks to Scott Mexican Restaurant, UIS Insurance and Investments, First National Bank of Sycamore, Phillips Electric, MST Sauce Company, Your Legacy Federal Credit Union, TBC Food Service, Rogers Flowers, Steinmetz Signs and Graphic Inc., Benchwarmers Restaurant and Delivery, Buckeye IT, TJ Willie's Fine Foods, Fiesel's Frame and Collision, Five Star Maintenance, Klaus Electric, Sarah Risen, Century 21, Bolte in Tiffin, and Pyramid Recruiting Offices, all proud sponsors right here on Heart of Ohio Sports. And of course, we talk about the pregame show. That's all, always brought to you by Rogers Flowers. Now, it's, you know, it's that time of year, folks, and it's getting to be really close to Valentine's Day. Let's go with the... They're introducing the non-starters for Anthony Wayne, but... I'm telling you, if you're still looking for something, if you're still trying to figure out what to do for Valentine's Day, you need to stop in and see Brian and his staff at Rogers Flowers. They'll treat you right. They'll get you on the right path. And I'm telling you, they do so much for you that you don't even know about. I mean, gift, it's not just a gift shop. It's not just a flower shop. It is an all-purpose party. If you have a special occasion, any kind of special occasion, that's your, that's your one stop. I'm telling you, you've got to go in there, check out everything they have to offer. No doubt about it, Nate. I'm going to be honest with you. Anytime I've ever had a need for flowers in this town, that's been the place that I've gone to. <laughs> if you ask me, I don't even know if I can name another flower shop in this town right now. <laughs> well, that's because they've got it on lockdown, Greg. Absolutely. <laughs> Here's the non-starters for Tiffin Columbia now. And here we go with the starting lineup for Anthony Wayne.
And here we go. Uh-oh, Nate. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. What is this? Oh, I love it. They turned the lights out in here and made their camera lose focus. <laughs> camera says, what? what's, what's going on? It's not night vision. <laughs> All right, opening tip coming to you next, brought to you by Phillips Electric. And we are just about set to get underway here. Thanks for tuning in on Heart of Ohio Sports, the pulse of the Buckeye State. We are streaming live on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. Make sure if you're watching along with us, share, share, share the video, folks. We are ready to get underway. Opening tip brought to you by Phillips Electric. I like the uh, togas over there in the student section tonight. <laughs> An opening tip controlled by Tiffin Columbian, and we are underway here at Tiffin Columbian Gymnasium. Thanks for tuning in here with us. Nate Mullins and Greg Kinn on the call with you. Bailey Mullins manning the cameras for us here tonight. Tornado's working around the perimeter here. Isaac Garcia over to Logan Beeston. Bryce Braden, Bro Braden Rogo spots up for three. Oh. And knocks down the three. That's how you get it started right there, Nate. And Tornadoes start out with an early 3-0 lead. Parker Schofield fresh off his buzzer-beating three-pointer last night to beat Springfield. He has possession, top of the key, working on Isaac Garcia. Nearly lost it, gets it back, drives into the paint, cut off, now kicks it out left wing. That's Max Walton. Now back over to Schofield. Schofield driving, and he's going to be fouled on the floor before the shot. This will be on Zach Shawberry. That's his first, and the first team foul comes at the 7.09 mark here in the first quarter. General basketball. Generals basketball. <laughs> this is a general basketball game. The inbound oh, pass stolen that. by Shawberry. Shawberry racing to the other end to Garcia. Oh, lays nice. it off the glass and in. Garcia picking, right, picking up right where he left off the other that's, night. That's <laughs> absolutely right. 16 points the other night here in front of the home crowd against Perkins. And he starts out with an early bucket here. Columbian up 5-0. Generals driving the baseline. Up with the shot. No. Rebound grabbed by Rogo. Down the floor. And pass intercepted by Parker Schofield. Kicks it off left wing. Three. No. Rebound grabbed under the basket. And they put it back up and in. As that's Griffin Pike with the putback. Rogo under the basket all by himself. And he puts it up off the glass and in. Timeout called by Anthony Wayne. Yeah, let's take a timeout because I didn't even see that happen. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was so quick and frenetic right there, I'm telling you. I looked down at the computer screen for a second. <laughs> that company had already scored. <laughs> Seven to two, Tiffin Columbia, and out to a hot start here in front of the home crowd. Of course, timeout brought to you by First National Bank of Sycamore. This one is a full timeout, so we'll keep it right here. Actually, no, just a 30 second timeout. Of course, First National Bank of Sycamore, uniquely rooted in our communities, proudly serving their customers since 1919. They have locations in Sycamore, Tiffin, New Regal, and McCutcheonsville. Member FDIC, an equal housing lender. Go see them if you're looking for a new home or a new car. Go get pre-approved fo first, folks. Go see Jerry and his wonderful staff at First National Bank of Sycamore. Inbound, general basketball. Aiden Schmenk over to Max Walton. Walton. Now Schofield with it. Back over to Walton. Driving. Cut off by the defense. Grant Kinney. Ooh, trying to make it happen. Puts it up off the glass and puts it in. And that's Grant Kinney. It's not Ken, it's Kinney. Kinney. <laughs> not Greggy, it's Kinney. <laughs> 7-4, Tiffin Columbia. Inside of six minutes to play here in the first quarter. Tornadoes have the basketball. Beeston pulls up, long range three. Bang! Just needs 26 more. <laughs> 10 to four, Tiffin Columbia. Two for two from beyond the arc. And we've got a push off on, I think that's gonna go against Parker Schofield, or are they going to say it's a carrying violation? I don't know if that was a foul. Just a carrying, so no foul. 
but turnover nonetheless. Tiffin Columbia gets the basketball back. Logan Beeston gives off to Isaac Garcia, top of the key. Rolls off the screen, kicks it over the corner for Beeston, and he stepped on the baseline. Stepped on the out-of-bounds line there. Is, no, off the ball foul. Yeah, yeah, I think it was on... Um, uh, Rogo. Yeah, Rogo. Yep. Braden Rogo. Because I seen, <laughs> seen the ref point at him, and he was kind of like, what, are, what? Come on, man. A little bit of shoving stuff. 10-4, Tiffin Columbian. Max Walton brings it into the forecourt. Gives it off. That's Schmenk. Gives it back out to Schofield. I don't know what it is about him, Nate, with that with the tape on his wrist there. He gives me like Larry Bird, Larry Bird vibes or something. Yeah. <laughs> Under the basket. Oh. Shot up. No good. Hey, Rebound go. grabbed by Schmenk. He puts it back up and in. Not Schwank. Not Schwack. <laughs> Schmenk. <laughs> 10 to 6, Tiffin Columbian. Bryce Rogo under the basket, puts it up nice. off the glass and puts it in. That's actually Braden. My apologies. <laughs> Braden, my bad. How could you get them confused, just, Nate? <laughs> you know, sometimes they just look alike. Just every once in a while. Not all the time, but just every once in a while, you know? <laughs> 12 to 6, Tiffin Columbian. Kinney drives, puts it up the shot, and that's a nice, nice, pure shot from the free throw line for Griffin Pike. Oh. Nice little floater there. Nicely done by Zach Shawberry as he gets the floater to go. 14 to 8, Tiffin Columbia. He was, hide, he was hiding in the corner over there when they passed it to him. I thought the ball was just flying out of bounds for a second. <laughs> Shawberry on defense. That one blocked out of bounds. Okay, so maybe we could try to replay that one because that was amazing. You want to see if we can do that? That was good. I like that. Let's see that. Shot. One more time. Shot. Let's see here. Gets it underneath the tail there. Here he goes. Goes up and just swipe. Swipe. <laughs> Walton kicks out Schmenk. Now over to Schofield. Schofield on the right wing. Thought about a three. Puts it on the floor. Driving. And he's going to be, he's going to draw the foul. Logan Beeston calling the foul. <laughs> That'll be his first. Beeston coming into tonight averaging 19.3 points per game on the season, leading the SBC Lake. Ooh. Inbound pass nearly stolen away. They get it back. They kick it out for three. Oh. Griffin Pike knocks down the three-pointer. Such poison there with that shot. And the Generals to within three. Oh, that pass tipped out of bounds last touch by Anthony Wayne. Colombian basketball. Brady Gooding now into the game for Tiffin Colombian. Gooding now has it on the left wing. Over to Bryce Rogo. Under the basket for Braden, the Brogo connection. Look at that pass, man. You would almost think those guys were like, I don't know, brothers or something the way they. Yeah, <laughs> there's a little chemistry major. there. <laughs> More chemistry than a periodic table, ain't that right, Tommy? <laughs> <laughs> nice drive to the basket. Oh, what a move by Griffin Pike. As he puts that one on the floor and goes straight to the basket and puts it up and in. 16-13. Back and forth action here in the first quarter. Garcia thought about a three, puts it on the floor, drives to the baseline, puts it up, no! Oh. Rebound grabbed by the Generals. I think that might have been blocked, actually. Schofield kicks it out right wing. Walton, uh -oh. now out to Schmenk for three, oh. and he knocks that one down. <laughs> Tied up, 16 apiece. And timeout called on the floor by Travis Kinn. We'll keep it right here with this full timeout. Actually, it's a 30 seconds, so First National Bank of Sycamore is your sponsor for all timeouts here on Heart of Ohio Sports. Gives me an opportunity to talk about my friends at UIS Insurance and Investments. They are your hometown agency, providing a full range of insurance and financial services with a local touch. Contact your homegrown agent, Jeff Leopold, for a professional review today. And when I tell you, folks, if you're going anywhere else for insurance, you're, you're making a mistake. I, I know what you're doing. You got to go see them. And they help out with more than just insurance. They can help you with your investment portfolio as well. 
Go see the fine folks at UIS Insurance and Investments. Make sure you tell them Heart of Ohio Sports sent you. Well, it's like I've always felt, Nate, when you're willing to invest into something like this and be a sponsor for high school sports and athletes and you care about the community, it shows. You know? That's right. Absolutely right. Braden Rogo in the paint, puts it up off the glass and puts nice. it in. Way to muscle his way <laughs> yeah. in there. He expected the foul call there, but. <laughs> I was going to say that definitely did not make that easy for him there. No. Nice drive oh. to the basket by Schofield, but unable to finish. Shawberry grabs the rebound, pushes it down the floor. Rogo thought about a three, kicks it out, left wing. Braden Rogo now under the basket. Gooding nice. out for Shawberry for three. No. Oh, my goodness. Gooding, uh, actually, Rogo tried to tip out or tip back in and didn't get it to go. Generals basketball, Bryce Anderson with it. Gets it over on the right wing. That's Pike, drives the baseline, puts it up off the glass and puts it in. Griffin Pike putting together a solid first quarter here as he's got nine points, Ooh. half the points for the Generals. Shawberry, now over to Rogo. Now Gooding, top of the key, gives it over to Braden Rogo. Now back, Gooding, over to Garcia on the right wing. Garcia. Gives it out to Bryce Rogo. Over to Shawberry. Oh. Thought about a three. Oh, puts it on the floor. Drives to the basket. Puts it nice. up off the glass. And puts it in. Zach Shawberry with a nice move. Man, I want a picture of that to put on a t-shirt for him. That was a smooth move. That was smooth. Because <laughs> he had a pretty good look at a three, but he said, yeah. nah, let me get a better look at this basket. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Down inside of a minute to play. 45 seconds on the first quarter clock. Griffin Pike pulls up from mid-range. No, off the front that. of the rim. Rebound grabbed by Rogo. Oh. That one's stolen away. Schofield with the steal goes up with it. Little up and under as he gets that one to go. Nice little move there. Down the floor for Gooding. Gooding over to Rogo. Now over to Shawberry. Left corner. Back to Bryce Rogo. Bryce Rogo driving into the paint. Up with the shot. Blocked. Out of bounds. Aiden Schmank with the block. And he'll have a seat as will Grant Kinney. Logan Beeston checking back into the game now for Tiffin Columbia. 20 seconds left to play. Full length of the floor for Isaac Garcia into the backcourt. And Garcia is going to set the offense as he drives over the timeline into the forecourt. Garcia gives it off for Rogo. Over to Shawberry for three. Oh, no. Oh Rebound grabbed by Gooding. Puts it back up and oh, puts it in. Oh. Brady Gooding with the turnaround jumper on the baseline. Gives Columbia a two-point lead at the end of the first quarter. We're step aside, take a timeout. We'll be right back with more high school basketball right here on Heart of Ohio Sports. Your Legacy Federal Credit Union, your premier financial institution in Seneca County since 1952. Your community, your legacy, federally insured NCUA. Keep it locked in. You're watching Hoops on Hoos. And we're back here on Heart of Ohio Sports. Nate Mullins and Greg Kinn with you here at Tiffin Columbian Gymnasium. Tornadoes have the lead 22 to 20 as we start the second quarter. And Generals have the basketball coming out of the break in the action. Thanks for tuning in here on the Pulse of the Buckeye State, Heart of Ohio Sports. Bailey Mullins running the camera here with us tonight. Parker Schofield drives to the basket, puts it up off the glass and puts it in. <laughs> Garcia into the forecourt now. Over to Gooding. This one's going to be a back and forth one here, folks. Oh, yeah. Rogo over to Shawberry. Shawberry out to Beeston. Spin move, turn around, out to Rogo. Now Beeston spots up long three. Oh. No. Rogo grabs the rebound, kicks it out for Garcia. Cut off. Out to Rogo, Beeston, thought about a long three, puts it on the floor, pull up from mid-range, no. 
Rogo grabbed the rebound, but he was fouled as he grabbed it. They're going to call that one on Max Walton. It's so much easier if I just say Rogo instead of trying to figure out which one it is. <laughs> we'll figure it. We'll settle it out later. You know, sort it out later. We can, uh, you know, go back and slow the video down. Right now, there's only one on the floor, so I don't, I don't know how I'm mixing them up. <laughs> a foul under the basket. And that's actually on Brady Gooding. That'll be his first. Second team foul. Actually, the fourth team foul on Tiffin Columbia. General basketball. Into the forecourt now. Aiden Schmenk gives it off to Parker Schofield. <laughs> Schofield driving the baseline. Cut off. Kicks oh. it out. It throws it into the backcourt. That was not tipped. Oh, wow. They're saying that was tipped? Yeah. He <laughs> threw that for a pass. There was nobody that touched that. <laughs> And nevertheless, they get it back. Ball don't lie. Down the floor, Beeston with it. Corner. Oh, Shawberry, Gooding, Rogo. Now Beeston had it poked away into the backcourt. He gets it back. Driving. Up with the shot off the glass. No. no. Unable to finish. Schmenk grabs the rebound. Schofield now with it. Back over to Schmenk. Long three. Bang! Aiden Schmenk gives the Generals their first lead of the ball game, 25-22. 6-13 left here in the second quarter. Logan Beeston with just three points here in the early going. Garcia now with it, trying to set the offense up. Braden Rogo comes off the Beeston screen, gives it off for Gooding, drives the baseline, kicks it out. Garcia wow. spots up for three, no. Oh. Rebound, grabbed by Schmenk. I tell you, Nate, after that opening flurry by Columbia, and you got to give it to this Anthony Wayne defense here, how well they're tightened down. Yeah. Schofield driving up with the shot off the glass, and he gets it to go. Oh, little roll Parker there. Schofield got the friendly roll. Now Gooding kicks it out. Rogo driving, and this time he they do call the foul. <laughs> There's been a couple times where they drive and they just get smacked. <laughs> like, yeah, you, you'll be all right. Just some swags in there. You'll be all right. <laughs> 27-22, Anthony Wayne leading by five. 524 left here in the second quarter. Logan Beeston looking to inbound. Looking to get it inbounds. He gets it into the backcourt for Isaac Garcia. Calls out the play as he crosses the timeline into the forecourt. Gooding under the basket for Beeston. Beeston, spin move, turn around, jumper, gets it to go. Logan Beeston, that was pure. He was fighting for those ones. 27-24, five minutes to play here in the second quarter. Schofield kicks it over, Schmenk for three. No, that one's in and out. Rebound grabbed by Shawberry. Garcia, Rogo, up with the shot off the glass. No, oh, Schofield grabs the rebound. Schofield racing into the paint, up with the shot, off the glass, and in. He's hitting move. him with that hesitation, and they're getting hey. lost in transition every time. That was a, slick, slick that was a two on one, and he split the defenders there. He never put the ball on the floor. How is it a travel if he didn't put the ball on the floor? 29 24, Anthony Wayne. Schofield kicks it out left wing for Walton. Oh Three, no good. Goodness. Rebound grabbed by Kinney. Now Schmenk pulls up for mid-range, and that one no good. Beeston grabs the rebound. <laughs> Tornado's got lucky on that possession. Garcia on the right wing. You can feel it getting a little more intense in here. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Rogo over to Beeston. Beeston thought about a long three, puts it on the floor, driving. Baseline. Oh. They're gonna call a travel on Beeston. Yeah, one too many steps, they spun around too many times. Just trying to make something happen, man. This defense is doing a great job, but just they're <laughs> just in the way of everything the tornadoes want to do. Well, tornadoes have really kind of settled into a uh, stagnant kind of offense here in the second quarter. There's not much ball movement. There's a lot of stalling with the ball. They've got to find a way to get more people more touches. 
Work that ball around, find better shots. Walton with the mid-range jumper, he gets that one to go. <laughs> Carter said that kid's going through London with that Euro set. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Rogo out on the left wing, under the basket for Shawberry. Turnaround jumper, that's nice. good. Got a nice little hook to go as he got his bird. He got him to go up, and then he says, oh, okay, all right, I'll take it. 31-26. <laughs> Generals leading by five. Doing a great job moving the ball around. Three-point shot, that one misses everything. That's probably the most awful one I've seen. Tornadoes so dig it out. <laughs> Beeston into the forecourt now. Gives it off for Shawberry. Shawberry drives up with the shot off oh. the glass. No, Schofield grabs the rebound for the Generals. They kick it out, drive the baseline. Kinney with the shot. Actually, that was uh, Griffin Pike with the shot. That's no good. Beeston into the forecourt. Right wing, Shawberry puts it on the floor. Jack Newlove into the game now for Tiffin Columbian. Shawberry out on the right on the left wing. Oh, Had to go off it. his leg. Turnover. Generals push it in transition. Walton up with the shot. No. Rogo grabs the rebound. Right wing Beeston. Got the hesitation, oh. but he didn't get the shot. <laughs> Rogo gets the rebound. New love now with it. 31 26 inside of two minutes to play. Generals leading by five. 30 second timeout called from Travis Kinn. We'll keep it right here for this first National Bank of Sycamore timeout. Gives me plenty of time to tell, me, tell you about the fine folks at Scudette Mexican Restaurant. Boy, I'll tell you, they are a staple in the Tiffin community. You need to stop out and check out their new look menu with some delicious new items that you just got to try for yourself, folks. I'm telling you, you have to try out the street tacos. They have so many different varieties. Gather your friends. Go get some queso. You deserve it. Treat yourself to the best at Scudette Mexican Restaurant, located in the Tiffin Mall. <laughs> They'll make you hungry, that's for sure. And I think, Nate, I think they're hungry for some more MMA action. Mm. They joined us as a sponsor for the MMA event Tasty. coming up. Tasty. <laughs> yeah, we got to talk about that at halftime, Greggy. We're going to talk a little bit about oh, yeah. the upcoming events on Heart of Ohio Sports as we go to halftime. Brought to you by TPC Food Service. Make sure you stick around for that. As Tiffin Columbian takes the possession coming out of the timeout. Beeston gets it back from Rogo. Off the screen, kick out, Gooding, now back to Beeston. Spin move, turn around, baseline, gets it under the basket. It's kicked, but they don't call the kick ball. Wow. Schofield driving, puts it up, no, actually dishes it. What a nice move by Parker Schofield. Nice. As he finds Hayden Bender under the basket for the shot and puts the Generals back up by seven, 33-26. He said, I can take the hard shot, or I can just give it to you, bud. Here you go. <laughs> Gooding, spin move, turn around. No good on the shot. That guy was hit from behind, wasn't it? He definitely got some contact on that one, but they didn't call it. Schofield with 11 points here. Parker Schofield, right wing. Down inside of a minute to play. Schofield pulls up, long range three, no. Oh. Rebound grabbed by Rogo. Braden Rogo pushes it into the forecourt. Gives it off for Beeston. At top of the key. Oh, and that one nearly stolen away, and it is, I believe, stolen away. General, they're gonna say that was out of bounds. <laughs> as Bryce Anderson had it under the basket, but was sliding out of bounds as he had possession. Rogo, touch pass off the inbound, back to Beeston for three! Yeah. We've seen that before, Nate. I love that I've play. I've seen that play a few times. <laughs> yeah, I love that play. One of my favorite inbound plays there. I got that one down to a science, that's for sure. 33-29, down to 12 seconds here in the first half. Showfield. Works it over, three-point shot. That one's off the rim, no. Beeston grabs the rebound, five seconds left. Behind the back, over the timeline. Over to Rogo for three, no. And that's the end of the first half. Your score, Anthony Wayne, 33, Tiffin Columbian, 29. We're gonna step aside, we'll take a timeout, but when we come back, we'll have the halftime show brought to you by TPC Food Service. It's coming to you next right here on Heart of Ohio Sports.
Small business owners need somebody that can open the door to financing. And at First National Bank of Sycamore, we love opening the door for financing opportunities. UIS Insurance and Investments, your hometown agency, providing a full range of insurance and financial services with a local touch. Contact your homegrown agent, Jeff Leopold, for a professional review today at 419-447-4242, extension 1144. You're watching high school basketball right here on Heart of Ohio Sports, the pulse of the Buckeye State. Your Legacy Federal Credit Union, your premier financial institution in Seneca County since 1952. Your community, your legacy, federally insured NCUA. Keep it locked in. You're watching Hoops on Hoose. And we're back here to the Columbian Gymnasium. We're at halftime. Halftime show, of course, brought to you by TPC Food Service. Your score, Anthony Wayne, 33, Tiffin Columbian, 29. Big time first half from both schools. There's a lot of back and forth action for the Generals. Found a way to pull away there at the end of that second quarter to take a lead. They led by as many as seven at one point. Tornadoes trimmed it down to a four-point lead there at the end of the second quarter. Uh, let's talk about some of the stuff we got going on this week, Greg, because we got a really busy week coming up. Oh, yeah. Got a lot of stuff going <laughs> on. We got to talk about a few things here. Now, obviously, I've told you guys about our Miles for Mutts fundraiser. Eric Hall is our sideline reporter during football season for the A-Stream, and he has embarked upon a new journey Embark. Get that, did you? Did oh, you my get? goodness. <laughs> <laughs> he's, <Woof>. uh, he's, <laughs> yes, woof. <laughs> that one was rough. <laughs> we could do this all day, folks. <laughs> uh, no, he is a, he's actually starting a new journey. He's training for the Capital City Half Marathon, which comes up, uh, I think, in April, at the end of April. That sounds like something straight out of The Simpsons. That sounds like something a crazy man would do. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> Who trains for marathons? No, Eric is doing a great job with this fundraiser so far. Um, raising money for the Humane Society of Seneca County as he trains for the Capital City Half Marathon. If you don't know about it already, folks, make sure you check it out. It's on Facebook. It's the Miles for Mutts group. There's a group on Facebook called Miles for Mutts, spelled just like you would think, M-I-L-E-S. Um, but you go to that group, find out how you can donate or get involved. Eric's doing a great job. He's training for this half marathon, but he's also drawing attention to the Humane Society of Seneca County and just how much they really need your help, folks. And this is one way that we can help here at Heart of Ohio Sports is by getting involved in helping to give back to the Humane Society of Seneca County. So Eric does a weekly segment uh, where he goes on a, a jog with a dog. He calls it his jog dog. Mm. <laughs> but he goes out and goes on a run with a dog from the Humane Society, and he encourages anybody from the community to try to, do to, try to uh, uh, adopt the dog and take it home and give it a new forever home. So that's a new thing we've started this week. Eric just started. He had his first segment. The, uh, I can't remember exactly what he called it, but um, it's it's just really, it's an exciting new venture that we're getting into, and it's just started this week. So if you get a chance, check out the Miles for Mutts fundraiser. Once again, that's on Facebook. There's the little logo. You can find that uh, group on Facebook, and if you find that group with the cover photo that looks like that, up there on your screen, then you have found the right spot. Make sure you help us out and uh, help Eric out as he tries to raise some money for the Humane Society of Seneca County. Also, we got a Madden tournament coming up, folks. As we're talking about, we want to put together, or we are putting together a Madden tournament. And the details of which were still being discussed because initially we wanted it to be a one versus one in studio tournament where everybody comes to the studio and you do the matches in studio and we just kind of have commentary and we roast the guys that are playing the games and every time they make a bad call or whatever, you know? Well, 
we've come into some difficulties getting people's schedules to line up for all these different shows. So maybe we'll try to figure out a way that we can possibly work with some streamers to get some streamers involved and maybe we get them on board as well. So maybe you wouldn't have to be just in studio in order to participate in the Madden tournament. So if you're still interested, you could possibly get on board with us. But if we don't get the required, the number of required uh, participants by next Saturday, I think we'll probably just end up pushing that one off until closer to summertime when the next Madden game comes out. But for right I would, now, I would really love to do it. So I want really to like do this. Folks to get in on this. For it's, sure. it's all up to you guys. We got to get people signed up for this because once again, that is to help the Miles for Mutt's fundraiser. All the proceeds from that event, which it's a hundred dollar buy-in, but you could have potential to win a PS5 and a, a great prize package, including a PS5. But once again, folks, if you get a chance. Find the Madden Tournament, uh, find our Facebook page, find the Madden Tournament post, and shoot us a comment, shoot us a message saying you're interested, you want to sign up for yeah, the Madden I mean, Tournament. Just get a hold of any of us. Really. Absolutely, <laughs> any of us. We'll figure it out. We'll get it figured out. <laughs> we want to get as many people signed up for that as possible. Uh, once again, that's coming up next Sunday would be the Selection Sunday if we can get everybody signed up in time. Um, then, coming up next week... Wednesday night, we have Calvert versus St. Paul. That's Norwalk St. Paul coming to you live from Tiffin Calvert Gymnasium. Friday night, we've got Mohawk versus Winford coming to you live from Sycamore. And on Saturday. Oh, man. On Saturday. <laughs> the return. The return. <laughs> BCM Promotions Fight Night 12. No love lost. And there will be no love yeah. lost this event. I'll tell you that much. None whatsoever. James Haley finally getting this title shot at the, they're going to crown the inaugural featherweight champion, I believe. Oh, well, this is going to be one that you're not going to want to miss, folks. I'm telling you right now. And then uh, Zane Finley's in the co-main event, and I believe he's going to be on mm -hmm. the Over Under podcast mm -hmm. this week, I believe, on Thursday. I, think I was going to say, I don't think we're going to have a uh, Wednesday yeah. Over Under pod, but we will definitely be on Thursday for the Over Under podcast. Make sure you tune in for that. Once again, that one. Uh, coming to you live right here on Heart of Ohio Sports. And we'll have the interview with Zane Finley. That one's on Thursday night on the Over Under podcast. That's going to be a good time, man. That whole event's going to be a fun time. i tell you what, Nate, and this is just the measuring stick for me for how fun an event is, and I've said this many times. We were there for, I think it was almost five hours in total between breaks last time. It felt like 50 minutes we were there, maybe an hour <laughs> and a half. I was like, man, we were here that long for real? Because it's yeah. just nonstop action, a great time, and just a blast, man. Hey, they're announcing sponsors for the t-shirt give out. Oh. I know there's one of those names in there that I recognize. Actually, there's a couple of them in there. I bet you, I bet you anything you'll find some sponsors that sponsor us on uh -huh. our list because those are the kind of sponsors we have right there. <laughs> hmm. Oh, UIS, is that what he just said? <laughs> hmm. Well, what about that one? Oh, Sorry, I just had to give that a little, <laughs> little shout out there. You know, we had to get that in there. <laughs> <laughs> never get told. I never get tired of hearing our name being announced. Anybody. That's right. <laughs> Once again, we are here at halftime. Your halftime show brought to you by TPC Food Service. I want to take a moment and thank all of our sponsors for bringing you tonight's broadcast and high school basketball all season long right here on Heart of Ohio Sports. Thank you to Scudette Mexican Restaurant, UIS Insurance and Investments, First National Bank of Sycamore, Phillips Electric, MST Sauce Company, Your Legacy Federal Credit Union, TPC Food Service, Rogers Flowers, Steinman Signs and Graphic Inc., Benchwarmers Restaurant and Delivery, Buckeye IT, TJ Willie's Fine Foods, Feasel's Frame and Collision, Five Star Maintenance, Klaus Electric, Sarah Risen Century 21 Volte in Tiffin, and Pyramid Recruiting Offices, all proud sponsors right here on Heart of Ohio Sports. So what do you expect to see here in the second half, Nate? Oh, man, I'm telling you. <laughs> Columbian came out with a, that flurry right off the bat, just firing on all cylinders. Anthony Wayne said, hey, let's, let's take a timeout real quick and, and gather ourselves, gain composure, figure out what they were just doing to us, and everything kind of turned around from that point. Yeah, absolutely, and I think a lot of it, they're, I mean, they've got a great starting backcourt led by Parker Schofield. He's got 11 points here tonight, leading all scorers. And he has really found a way to contribute on both ends of the floor. And he kind of sets the tone and sets the pace. 
for this Anthony Wayne Generals team. So that's I look for Tim and Columbia to find a way to stop him in the second half, shut down the looks that he has at the basket, and clamp down defensively. As for Anthony Wayne, just keep getting those good looks at the basket. Steal. Playing the passing lanes there by the Generals as Schofield now with it. And Parker Schofield into the forecourt. Thanks for tuning in here with us on Heart of Ohio Sports. Nate Mullins and Greg Kinn on the call with you. Bailey Mullins running the camera. And that ball kicked but not called. Yeah, I saw him even look at the rep after that. He's like, oh, <laughs> we good? Schofield driving into the, into the paint, up with the shot, off the glass and in. Nice. Parker Schofield with a nice little scoop. to put it up off the glass and in. That was the longest clap I've ever heard for a two-point basket. I was just going to let it go. I was waiting to see how long it would go. I think he just wanted to be the last guy clapping in the room. By far he was. You ever played that game with somebody, try to get that last clap? I think that's, he's just making sure. He's like, I will get the last clap. Oh. And Beeston I says, I will the get the last clap. laugh. <laughs> Logan Beeston pulls up from three. He's got 11 points here tonight. He needed 29 points to overtake the top spot as Colombian's all-time leading scorer coming into tonight. He needs 18 more. Walton's three is no good. Beeston grabs the rebound and immediately looks for the outlet. Bryce Rogo gives it back to Beeston. Now over to Braden Rogo. Thought about a three, but finds Shawberry for a better looking three. No. Rebound grabbed by Walton. And that's the thing about Beeston, too, is you, you know that that's on his mind, but you know it's not in the forefront of his Schofield mind. drives it to the basket, no, and gets stripped as he got the rebound. Beeston pulls up long range three, oh. no. Rogo grabs the rebound. Shawberry gives it off to Beeston. Now back over to Garcia. Now Shawberry on the left wing. Beeston gets it back, driving. Now stops, pops, nice. and knocks it down from the elbow. Logan Beeston with 13 points. Just needs 15, 16 more to overtake that top spot. Showfield. And a reach in foul, foul <laughs> called on Logan Beeston. He didn't agree with it. Yeah, that's what I'm like. <laughs> but I don't know. That looked like a pretty clear reach in there from Logan. <laughs> His expressions, they just crack me up sometimes, man. Right? Like, oh, come on, bro. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, nice pass. Went right through the arms of Garcia. And Garcia is going to be called for the foul. As Schmenk was pretty wise with that one. You know, he came up with the ball as he saw Garcia trying to reach for it, and it just came through his hand. <laughs> I mean, that's just smart basketball. Sorry, I was chuckling because I just seen Isaac stood up in front of the camera and Bailey kind of grabbed him and sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Shawberry steals the inbound. Racing into the paint, up oh. off the No, he's blocked out of bounds. Adrian Sh Aiden Schmenk says Schwack. Uh-oh, $1, $1 pizza. One dollar pizza. Everybody's turning and running to the concession stand. We're going to have to go to commercial. <laughs> All right, we'll step aside. We'll take a break. i got to go grab some pizza. <laughs> Shawberry. On the left wing, gives it off for Garcia. Garcia back to Shawberry, left wing. Now Garcia gets it back. And it's Ooh. stolen away by Parker Schofield. So Schofield. Quick. Cut off by the defense, kicks it out. Pike, and it's going to be a travel. Oh, ho, ho. He just took off before he put the ball on yep, the floor. Yep, yep. It says student section says, where's your suitcase? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was wondering what they were saying over there. <laughs> yeah. Love Garcia. I love how they dressed up every game. The, the togas <laughs> in full effect here tonight. That one, a kickball, goes out of bounds. Tiffin Columbian retains possession. Down by one, 4.52 left here in the third quarter. Shawberry looking to inbound. Gets it in the backcourt to Garcia, now Beeston with it. Crosses the timeline into the forecourt, gives it back to Garcia. Shawberry finds Beeston on the baseline. Beeston driving, working on Schmenk. Little spin move, turns around, no. Rogo went for the rebound, but he's going to be called for the foul. He's a really good clapper, Greg. 
Oh, I'm sure the stream can hear him. <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> I like that, though, man. Absolutely. Bring the fire, bring the intensity. Pike, turnaround jumper is no good. Rebound grabbed by Schmenk. He turns around, puts it up off the glass. Oh, no wow. good. Rogo grabs the rebound. Now Braden into the forecourt, driving into the paint, up off the glass. Oh, no. Oh. Shawberry with the putback, puts it up. No. Oh, Schofield grabs the rebound. There is a lid on both of these baskets right now, folks. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> 35 34. And a foul. It's going to be called on Isaac Garcia. Mm -hmm. Blocking foul as he just kind of jumped and s s just squatted right in the way of Parker Schofield. <laughs> Schofield takes the inbound. Oh, look at that. He was nice enough to go get us a couple pieces of pizza, Greggy. Oh, we're both watching the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> nice move to the basket there by Grant Kinney. There you go. And he gets that one to go off the glass. I take that lid off the basket right there. 37-34, Generals leading by three. And Logan Beeston nice. pulls up from the elbow and knocks that one down. <laughs> it always amazes me how he's like floating through the air sideways and still nails those shots. <laughs> uh -huh. That's excellent body control right there, man. Look at that Euro step. Wow. What a move by Schofield. Kick out for three! <laughs> Griffin Pike nails the three and puts the Generals back on top by four, 40 to 36. Schofield tried to draw the foul there, but uh, <laughs> his acting skills leave a little bit to be desired. Beeston will step back. Ooh. No. Rebound grabbed by Grant Kinney. Nobody else touched the ball in that possession other than Logan Beeston. There needs to be a little bit more ball movement, I think, for this Colombian offense. Oh, and that was stolen go. away by Bryce Rogo. Looking for somebody. Rogo says, Never mind, stops, pops from three. <laughs> <laughs> Bryce oh, Rogo man. knocks down the three. I love that. He looked for somebody, saw nothing was there, and he's, you know, I'll just, just take care of this. Well, and the defender <laughs> sagged on him into the paint, thinking he was going to drive. He says, oh, you're going to give me that? I'll take it. <laughs> Under the basket wow. for Schmenk. Spin move, turnaround, jumper off the glass. No. Shawberry grabs the rebound. Not a quality look there at the basket. Oh. Beeston on the right wing. Puts the ball on the floor. Gives it off for Shawberry. Now Garcia. There you go, trying to move that ball around like you said, Nate. More ball movement. Beeston gets it off the, oh. off the pass. No. Rebound grabbed by Kinney. One point ball game, 40-39. Showfield now with it. Inside of two minutes to play in the third. I think he was trying to toss that up for a lob, but he yeah. almost made the shot. <laughs> He's probably one of those guys, I don't know how to miss. Oh. <laughs> a little too shallow. A rebound now. grabbed by Griffin Pike. It was poked away, but Schofield grabs a loose ball. Now Pike with it. Into the forecourt. Now into the paint, driving. I'll put the oh, shot off the glass. No, wow. Schmidt grabs the rebound. Puts that one up and in. And we got a timeout on the floor. I'll tell you what. Grabs the rebounds, one way to say it. I'd say steals that rebound. Snap! Man, he just came in there like, yoink. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> Timeout called by Anthony Wayne. We'll keep it right here. 123 left here in the third quarter. Generals leading 42 39. Of course, timeouts brought to you by First National Bank of Sycamore. I think they're uh, acknowledging the cheering spot here. I think they're wishing them good luck. Must well, be competing again this year. Yeah, they, they won, won the uh, title last year Division Three Game Day non-building cheer state champions last year. So they're going to go off and try to compete again and defend their state title. Good luck to the cheer team. I don't know exactly what they're doing here, but they've got paper clips with a stack of money on it. They keep handing them out to people. I want one. I want, yeah. <laughs> when do we get one? <laughs> Giving out to the best media in Tiffin. Here's. <laughs> Isaac Garcia crosses the timeline into the forecourt, gives it off to Rogo. That's Bryce. Now under the basket for Beeston. That's Logan. 
He puts it up, he puts it in. Way to be patient there, young man. Logan Beeston. Brings the Tornadoes to within one. He's got 17 points. He needs 12 more, Greg. 12 points to break the all-time leading scoring record here at Divin Columbian. I need a nice fourth quarter here to get there. Parker Schofield working on Rogo, and a reach-in foul is going to be called on Bryce Rogo. That's his first. That'll be the sixth team foul against Tiffin Columbian here. That's, that's so weird. They called that foul on him, and he must have been looking at something on the ceiling. Eh? Yeah, it must have been. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Actually, that's the fifth team foul on Tiffin Columbian. So 45 seconds left here in the third. Tiffin Columbian is going to have to watch how they play the rest of this one here. I just love how, unlike football, you're so close to the action. You can see the facial expressions yes. and everything they do. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Oh, and you, I mean, with football, they're so covered up. They got the yeah. helmets, they got the face masks. You know, like, you can't see these kids. They can't, you can't see their animations. And now we're like 10 feet from them, just rolling their eyes. Uh-huh. <laughs> I love it. Ashton Bostelman gives it off to Parker Schofield. That sounds like a baseball player's name. I bet this kid plays baseball. Any Anthony Wayne fans out there, if you are watching on the podcast or watching on the stream, chime in. Let me know if this kid plays baseball because he, lo he looks like a baseball player. A three-point shot, no good to end the third quarter. We go to the fourth quarter. Anthony Wayne leading by one, 42-41. We'll step aside. We'll come right back with the exciting conclusion of tonight's ball game right here on Heart of Ohio Sports. Small business owners need somebody that can open the door to financing. And at First National Bank of Sycamore, we love opening the door for financing opportunities. UIS Insurance and Investments, your hometown agency, providing a full range of insurance and financial services with a local touch. Contact your homegrown agent, Jeff Leopold, for a professional review today at 419-447-4242, extension 1144. You're watching high school basketball right here on Heart of Ohio Sports, the pulse of the Buckeye State. And we're back here on Heart of Ohio Sports, live Tiffin Columbian Gymnasium. Nate Mullins and Greg Kinn on the call with you. We've got Bailey Mullins running the cameras here tonight. Thanks for tuning in with us here on the pulse of the Buckeye State. If you're watching on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, or Twitter, make sure you share the video, please. And give us a follow, a subscribe, and a like while you're at it. We start the fourth quarter of action. Generals have the basketball, leading by one. Aiden Schmenk. Now Parker Schofield at the top of the key calls out the set. And Griffin Pike now kicks it over, right wing. Kinney kicks it over right wing for three for Schofield. Nice. And Parker Schofield knocks down the three. Soccer and basketball. Okay, all right. It's, it just sounds like a baseball player's name. Ben Logan Beeston says, hey, I'll see you three, and I'll answer you one. They must have said that was a two from Showfield because they didn't give him credit for it. Huh. Yeah, they only gave him two for that over in the corner. Must have had a toe on the line or something. Kenny under the basket. Nice feed nice. for Schmenk. And Aiden Schmenk has 10 points here tonight. 46-44. Anthony Wayne leading by two. Logan Beeston, 20 points. He needs nine more. Beeston working on the defense. Pulls it back. Now gives it over to cross court for Brady Gooding. Gooding over to Shawberry. Zach Shawberry gives it back to Logan Beeston. Boy, Beeston, when he's not holding the ball, he is moving all the time, trying to get open, trying to get that ball back. A nice feed! What a feed by Logan Beeston! And he finds a cutting break. Zach Shawberry 
Or was that Gooding? I think that was Gooding, wasn't it? I think it might have been, yeah. A nice feed from Beeston. And Tornadoes tie it back up, 46 apiece. Oh. Schmenk for three, that one's in and out. Schofield grabs the rebound and puts it back up and in. And that's what I talked about, Greg, at the beginning of the game. When you talk about keys to the game, Tiffin Columbian has got to do a better job on the rebounding end of the floor, especially on defense. They cannot give them second chance opportunities. Oh. Schmenk nearly gets the steal. <laughs> I thought he had it. Garcia drives, cut off by the defense, gives it off. Gooding. No, Schofield with the steal, gives it off for Pike, off the glass, puts it up and in. Man, I tell you, Nate, some of these defenders on Anthony Wayne here, they look like they got go-go gadget arms the way they reach in to swack that ball away. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't even understand how they can reach that far. 50-46, Generals leading by four. Brady Gooding on the baseline, gives it back, Logan Beeston for three, bang! Oh. Logan beast it with 23 points. He needs six more to take over the top spot as Tiffin Columbian's all-time leading scorer. Oh my goodness. 50, 49 generals. Inside of five minutes to play, Aiden Schmink, nice move to the basket. Puts it up, but not able to convert. Beaston spots up, long three, oh. no. Rebound tipped by Shawberry, but grabbed by the generals, Hayden Bender. Oh, I love it. what a fight we have under the basket for these rebounds. 50 to 49, Generals with a one-point lead. Parker Schofield with it. Pulls it back, resets. <laughs> Wise move here by the senior point guard. Cross court for Bender, drives the baseline, cut off by the defense. Schofield got it on the right wing now, working on Garcia. Schofield pulls up mid-range and he oh, knocks nice. that one down. That was pure. Had a man in his face and he That just, was pure. No problem, I got that. That was what you call a teardrop. <laughs> Garcia gives it off to Beeston. Beeston driving the baseline up with the shot. Off the oh! glass and in! <laughs> and he draws the foul! Can't that went in. <laughs> Logan Beeston! No, they're gonna say offensive foul! Wow! Wow! wow. Uh, I don't know now. about that one. <laughs> I know defenders entitled to his space, but he was moving his feet, Greg. You, when you're shuffling those feet, that's not gonna, I don't understand how that's a charge. Oh my goodness, you got Rowdy in here real fast. <laughs> you gotta set your feet if you want the charge. Uh -oh. wow. And a foul called on Brady Gooding as he was playing just a little too tight and got up into the hip pocket of Parker Schofield. And the seventh team foul, zero fouls on Anthony Wayne here in the second half. I don't know if that's a uh, stat sheet error or just they're just playing sound quality basketball here in the second half. And Parker Schofield knocks down the first. Puts the Generals up by four, 53-49. Garcia checks back into the game for Brady Gooding. Parker Schofield, second free throw. That nice. was pure. This kid's got a pure shooting stroke, man. Isaac Garcia into the forecourt now for Tiffin Columbia. Logan Beeston drives and he's cut off by the defense, but he's fouled on his drive to the basket by Grant Kinney. That's the first team foul called on Anthony Wayne here in the second half. <laughs> Rogo driving into the paint, up with the shot, off the glass and in! It draws the foul! Yeah. Braden Rogo draws the contact and goes to the line. Now, are we sure about that? We're not going to flip it back over this thing? <laughs> now, wait, wait, wait. Was it, are we sure it was on now? Hang on. Just kidding. Man. Yeah, he's got it. We're awesome. good. We're good. We're good. All right. Way to drive to the basket there and get the end one here. Braden Rogo. 
Oh. Unable to convert the three-point play, but Shawberry grabs the rebound. Kick out, Beeston for three. No, he thought it was pure. He thought it was in. Oh, it looked like it. He even put up the three. <laughs> in and back oh. out. <laughs> the rims are unkind here tonight for the Tornadoes. Now, Nate, I gotta ask you, did he miss that free throw on purpose? It almost looked like he did. I don't the know. The way that they set up that rebound, and Beeston said something to him right before he shot it. <laughs> I'm wondering, man. Schofield kick out Bender for three. That one's oh. no good. Beeston grabs the rebound. Long nice look at the basket, just unable to convert. Beeston cross court for Rogo. Braden Rogo Man. driving into the paint, up off the oh. glass. No. Rebound grabbed by the Generals. Aiden Schmenk down to 2.30 to play in the ball game and a foul called on Rogo. That one's on Braden. That's his third and the eighth team foul against Tiffin Columbian here in the second half. Shawberry, not sure how he ended up bloody there, Greg. I didn't see a foul called, so I don't understand why he'd be bloody. Oh wait, there was a foul called. It was on the other two. <laughs> so how'd he end up bloody? Must have been, must have been non, the incidental contact, you know, incidental, yeah. Nails that one there, Nate, like you said. This kid's shot. This is so pure. <laughs> timeout called on the floor. I think Travis King called that timeout. We'll keep it right here for this first National Bank of Sycamore timeout. Two minutes and 30 seconds left here in the ball game. And what a ball game we've had for you here tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Generals lead 55-51. Logan Beeston, 23 points. Just six points away for breaking the all-time leading scoring record here at Tiffin Columbian. How did I know those stats, Greg? Oh, I looked at the UIS Insurance and Investment stat sheet. <laughs> Make sure you stick around for the post-game show brought to you by your legacy Federal Credit Union. We'll have the player of the game, which of course is always brought to you by MST Sauce Company. And I think they do see a little blood down here. Uh, yeah, it looks like they're coming out. Trying to, to get it cleaned up. Must have a little spot here. Yep, yeah, 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 yeah. That'll happen when kids get bloody. One of the unsung heroes there. It's going to come out here and clean up the court so the game can proceed. The unsung hero. I like that, Greg. <laughs> oh, now they're telling him, we got more blood. Yeah, there's here. more. We got another spot over here you got to clean up. How many spots you guys got? You give, the, give the poor guy a mop. What are you doing? Tim? Well, on. if there's that much blood on the floor, <laughs> how wasn't there a foul? <laughs> got bopped in the nose. 231 left to play. Generals leading by four. Tune in tomorrow morning as we'll have the Fantasy Focus version of the Over Under podcast live from in studio. Man, we are running down to the very end of football season yes. here. This is the final one before the Super Bowl. So you'll have one more during Super Bowl Sunday. But other than that, this is the last one. Now you got two more Fantasy Focus shows for the Over Under Podcast. After that, of course, you'll still be able to find the Over Under Podcast every Wednesday night right here on Heart of Ohio Sports. As long as we don't have a game, that is. <laughs> <laughs> And Parker oh Schofield unable to convert hey, on the I, second. I think I jinxed him with the old announcers, Chris. <laughs> I don't know. Either that or they iced him with the timeout. Either way, Garcia has it coming into the forecourt. Bryce Rogo gives it off to Braden Rogo. Braden finds Beeston on the baseline, and Logan Beeston lays it off the glass and in. He's got 25. 55-53. Generals leading by two. 205 left to play in the ballgame. Parker Schofield driving into the paint, up with the glass, and he puts it up and in, and that one was easy, Greg. There was nobody there. He just split the Red Sea right there. He's got some wicked stuff, that's for sure. Garcia gives it off for Beeston. Now Braden Rogo over to Gooding. Now Braden gets it back, drives into the paint, up with the shot, off the glass, and in. Braden Rogo puts it off the glass. Two-point ball game, timeout, Tiffin Columbia, and this is a full timeout. We'll keep it right here with 1.40 to play here in the ball game. 57-55 lead for Anthony Wayne. 
It gives me a little bit of time to talk about your friends at Phillips Electric. Phillips Electric in downtown Tiffin is an authorized dealer of Whirlpool, Kenmore, and Maytag products. If you have any questions about any of their products or the brands that they may service, please feel free to call Greg and Tom Phillips at 419-447-3934 or simply stop in and see for yourself what everyone raves about at Phillips Electric, located at 176 South Washington Street in downtown Tiffin. Staple, the community for sure. Phillips Electric's been around longer than I believe I have. That's yeah, sure. yeah, I know they've been around longer than I have, that's for sure. <laughs> And I mean, that's hard to come by nowadays. And you got a lot of these fly-by-night companies that start up, and they disappear after a good two or three years or something like that. Yeah. And you got somebody that's stuck around for that long, you know that they know what they're doing. Exactly. Once again, timeouts brought to you by First National Bank of Sycamore. Stick around for the half or for the uh, post-game show. Brought to you by your Legacy Federal Credit Union, where we will crown the player of the game courtesy of MST Sauce Company. It's all coming to you here in about one minute and 40 seconds worth of game time. It's gonna be an exciting one minute and 40 seconds here to end this one, that's for sure. Griffin Pike now with it into the forecourt. Beeston with defense. Gives it off to Schofield. Schofield working on Gooding, drives it up with the shot, off the glass. No, nice defense there. Man. They had somebody in the paint to give him a good look, and that that prevented him from being able to make that shot. Mm -hmm. That's what tor the Tornadoes need to do more of. Put somebody there in the paint. Rogo, Beeston, Beeston, back to Rogo. Over to Beeston, long three, bang! And that's the tie! He is now tied for the all-time lead in Tiffin Colombian points history! Wow! 58-57! Parker Schofield with it. They trail by one now for the first time in the second half. Schofield works it down. They get it down for Schmank and he puts it up. He's fouled on the shot. That'll put Aiden Schmink at the line for man. two shots. Well, how about that three-point shot? That oh, man. That's so far away, Nate. You crack open Whew. the history books. You'd think he shot that one from the library when he was cracking open the history books. That's so far away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'll tell you what. Logan Beeston putting on a show here tonight, folks. 28 Ooh. points. Oh, they're saying it was a non-shooting foul, so a one and one? Wow, so this foul occurred before the shot, okay. Interesting. So a one and one situation here for Aiden Schmenk. Oh, it's getting loud. And oh. he says, hey, don't worry about it, I get two <laughs> shots anyways. <laughs> What a way to step up and make a key clutch shot there. He said, listen, I don't care what the foul is. Just let me take my shots. I got this. I want two, <laughs> not one. Schmink. Second free throw. That one's good. Nice. Generals with a one-point lead. Substitutions oh. now for both teams. What's the coach yelling about? Is it because it hit the top of the... Is he saying it hit the top of the stanchion there? It hit the strap. You could see it moving. That's what he's saying, huh? Yeah. Yeah, he's still arguing his case. The ref's not having it, though. It went in. Regardless, it went in. One-point lead for the Generals. 37 seconds left. Another exciting finish here. Look at Beeston. That pass. Nice pass from Rogo, and Beeston takes go. over the lead as the leading scorer in Tiffin Colombian history. Stolen oh. away by Garcia. Beeston right into on. the forecourt. He's fouled. <laughs> Logan Beeston called on the foul. Wow. Wow. Or no, they're saying that one's against Bender. Okay, so he put up the one and three. I'm like, are they kidding me? He called Beeston for that? No, it was on Bender. Okay, so. Hayden Bender called for the foul. Tiffin Columbia looking to inbound. Braden yeah. Rogo looking to get it in. Timeout. <laughs> he had nowhere to go. With nowhere it. to go with it. <laughs> timeout called. We'll keep it right here for this first National Bank of Sycamore timeout with 19.2 seconds oh, left. Oh, my goodness. 
And there you have it, folks. You, you hear it from the crowd. It's official. Logan Beeston is your all-time leading scorer in Tiffin Columbian basketball history. What an accomplishment for this young man. And I'm so glad to say we were here for this one, Greg. Yeah, wow. Wow. And we came in here tonight and had no idea we were that close to certain history. <laughs> we just witnessed it here tonight, Nate. What a ball game here. <laughs> he got the big beast and head over there in the student section. <laughs> I, love, dude, I love those things. <laughs> the giant heads that are blown up like that and cut out. Yes. Come on, come on, show it again. He's holding it. Come on. <laughs> Logan Beeston has taken over here in the second half and put the Colombian Tornadoes on his back. And they've taken a one-point lead with 19.2 seconds left. But the Generals have a few fouls to give here, Greg. Let's see how they play this one. Foul off the ball. That one's going on Parker Schofield. That'll be his second foul and the fourth team foul on the Generals. Once again, they still have two more fouls to give before they put Colombian in the bonus. Rogo under oh, the basket. It's wow. blocked. What wow. a block by Anthony Wayne. Wow. Schofield on to the other end. 12 seconds left. Parker Schofield with it. Into the paint. And a travel. That's wow. a travel. Wow. But they're going to say offensive foul either way, but that was a travel, Greg. He picked his dribble up and took four steps. He just picked his dribble up and ran into the defense. I uh, apologize to our viewers now for the few fans are getting excited. I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's getting intense down here. <laughs> Beeston looking to inbound. Gets it back off the inbound, and they foul him. 6.2 seconds left, and that puts Logan Beeston. No, they oh, still got, got two more, more to give. Oh, one, more. Or one more. One more. Okay. Yep. So this next foul will put Tiffin Columbian at the line. Logan says, hey, somebody else inbound it. <laughs> They're going to follow him as soon as he inbounds, so. Brady Gooding inbounds. Logan Beeston gets it, and he's fouled. Oh, he had a little macho man elbow drop at the end there for him. <laughs> and he hooked his arm when he fouled him. I don't think it was anything no, it's purposeful. Just, it's it's just funny looking. He got a little elbow drop, <laughs> hey, you know. I don't no. think it was anything no, intentional. I don't think he was doing anything malicious. He was just, he was just trying to follow him. That's nothing. That's nothing. <laughs> but that will put Logan Beeson at the line for a one and one situation here. And a timeout called on the floor by Josh Arthur. We'll keep it right here. Oh, my goodness. With five man. seconds left in the ball game. Of course, timeout's brought to you by First National Bank of Sycamore. This gives me time to talk about our friends at Five Star Maintenance. Their mission is to exceed the expectations of their clients and execute each project with precision from start to finish. If your commercial construction project needs immediate attention, their highly skilled and efficient team is ready to tackle even the most challenging projects. Call Charlie or Tim today at 419-443-0414 and let them come up with a plan for you. Speaking of a plan, do you have, I mean, do you have a plan if anything happens with your vehicle? Who are you going to go to if something bad happens? Are you going to accident? I hate talking about that kind of stuff, but if things happen, you know, it's things life. happen. It's yep. life. And if that happens, you find yourself in that situation, put your vehicle in the care of the people that actually care about you. Go to Feasel's Frame and Collision. I'm telling you, they are your one-stop shop for vehicle body repair. The go Why go to the rest when you can take your vehicle to the best? Feasel's Frame and Collision is a family-owned business that serviced vehicles for this community for decades and will continue to do so for many years to come. Trust your vehicle repairs to the best at Feasel's Frame and Collision Repair. And this is no joke, Nate. I've never heard a negative thing ever said about Feasel's Frame and Collision, so you know they're doing a great job there. Well, the, the work they do speaks for, speaks for itself, but I don't know how anybody could ever have a bad word to say about Jeff Feasel. <laughs> for real. If you've ever met the guy, oh, I mean, yeah. everybody yeah. likes it. How could you not? like Jeff Beeston. Oh, here we go. It's getting loud. It's getting rowdy. Logan Beeston. He's shaking our cameras. He's shaking the stands. Knocks oh, down the first. Oh. Cooler than the other side of the pillow. Hey, hey. Timeout called on the floor. Josh Arthur trying to uh, say turnabout's fair game here, Travis Kent. I can do that too. Let me ice your shooter here. <laughs> Calls a timeout in the middle of the one-on-one -on -one situation, which gives us time to talk about our friends at Steinman Signs and Graphic Inc. 
They are here for all of your printing and design needs, from reunions to small events to business apparel. They even got vehicle lettering. I'm telling you folks, they've got you covered. They make the gear that you make your memories in. Go visit Steinmetz Science and Graphic Inc. Go check out the store. And I'm telling you, what you really need to do is get a hold of them and customize your project. Get your, take your marketing plan to the next level. Take your branding to the next level with Steinmetz Signs and Graphic Inc. Because I tell you, she's got us looking nice, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you're looking for a shirt, by the way, we got plenty of them. We got all the designs. I don't know about all the sizes, but we got pretty close to a lot of sizes. If you're looking for a good shirt, just shoot us a message. We'll, we'll hook you up, all and right? I mean, and, if, and if you're looking for a shirt and we don't have your size in stock right now, let us know. We'll make a note of it, and we'll for sure get a hold of you when we got it. I'll tell you what. If you're watching this broadcast, we got 142 people watching right now. If you're watching, first person to message our page, whatever page you're watching on, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, or Twitter, if you message us, you get a free T-shirt. How about that? So just say, hmm. I'm messaging for my free T-shirt. I'm watching on the broadcast. Who doesn't love free stuff? That's right. I just want to see how fast we can get a message here <laughs> from one of our listeners. Logan Beeson at the line. Five seconds left. Ooh. Knocks it down. Three-point ball game. Tivit Columbian with a three-point lead. Here we go. Max Walton fouled. And that's going to put him at the line for a one and one. That's exactly what you wanted to do there if you're Tiffin Columbian. Wise play there. Great play. Because they can't get the three point shot. Now, Walton's gonna wanna make this first one, but he's gonna wanna miss the second. Right, so he can get the rebound. So you get the rebound and get the put back. You got 1.9 seconds left. Max Walton, first shot. That one's good. So he got the first part of it down. We've got a couple comments here about the T-shirt, but we'll have to go and see who actually messaged first. Yes, it's gonna go. <laughs> it's gonna come down to time. Who got that first one in? As far as time. And speaking of time, timeout. Call. It's time for a timeout. <laughs> Brought to you by First National Bank of Sycamore. Of course, that gives me plenty of time to talk about my friends at Pyramid Recruiting Offices. Now. Have you ever found yourselves on the north end of town and you drive by that building and you're like, what the heck is that thing? Looks like a giant pyramid with a big old triangle. Looks like a house teepee. Yeah, it's like an A-frame building, <laughs> yeah, like an old school A-frame. Well, that is unique. <laughs> that is pyramid recruiting offices. They've been there for 34 years, folks. They're hiring for skilled labor, accounting, entry level positions, general factory, maintenance, CNC, assembly, team lead, administration, and so much more. Serving local employers and businesses for over 34 years, Pyramid has been located in that familiar A-frame building on North Washington Street since 1988. Pyramid Recruiting, Tiffin's only locally owned and operated job placement service. Uh, you know who else is a great sponsor here for Tiffin Columbian? Who's that? Sarah Risen. I see her at just about every Tiffin Columbian game. <laughs> of course, she's not here tonight when I mention her. Hopefully, she's watching somewhere and she listens to us and she hears the good words that we're given about Five, about Sarah Risen's Century 21 Bolte in Tiffin. We'll talk about Sarah Risen here in just a moment as this is a key, pivotal situation here. Referee's giving him a warning like, hey, the shot has to go up and hit the rim before you can go after it. Yep. They know what everybody's about to do. <laughs> oh, let's see what happens here. Max mate. Walton toes the line. Second free throw, he missed, it goes off the backboard. That's no good, that's not gonna work. Intentional, didn't hit the rim, so they're gonna turn the ball over to wow. Tim and Columbian. And now they're gonna have a discussion as Coach, uh, Coach Arthur over here says, hey, wait a second. They're talking about the clock, yeah. Yeah. And this there is gonna be go. a great time for his team to come in for a little huddle. I think they figured it out real fast, though. So. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't give him much time. No time at all. Logan Beeson looking to inbound here. 1.9 seconds left. Columbian holding on to a two-point lead. Beeson into the backcourt for Rogo. Rogo is fouled. <laughs> the reach-in called on Grant Kinney will put Rogo at the line. Braden Rogo goes to the line for a one-and-one -one situation. That's one of the crazy things about basketball. I love the situation here, how you can just foul at the end, yep. try to make him miss a shot to get the ball back. It's <laughs> awesome. It's, it's like a game of chess, that's for sure. What a ball game here tonight, folks. We've had 
one of these young men take over the lead for Tiffin nice. Columbians all-time leading point scorer in program history. 32 total points here tonight. 32 points from Logan Beeston. He needed 29 to take the lead. So what did he have at halftime, like 13 or something? Something, like yeah, I think he did at 13 <laughs> at halftime. Nice. And Here Rogo knocks them both down. It's a four-point game. Schofield pulls up from deep, banks it off the glass, but it doesn't matter because wow. it's a one-point lead and a one-point win for Tiffin Columbian. That's a heck of a shot. Just like Second that night in a row, he's hit a buzzer-beating three just at the end of the this, game. Just not enough this time. Wow, what oh an effort goodness. by Parker Schofield, and what a game by these Anthony Wayne generals. Wow. Nothing to hang your heads about tonight, boys. You guys played a great ball game. Woo. All right, we're going to step aside, take a quick timeout. We'll be back with the exciting conclusion and the postgame show brought to you by our friends. Your Legacy? At your Legacy Federal Credit Union. I just didn't want to get it wrong. <laughs> it's all right, coming okay. to you next right here on Heart of Ohio Sports, the pulse of the Buckeye State. Your Legacy Federal Credit Union, your premier financial institution in Seneca County since 1952. Your community, your legacy, federally insured NCUA. Keep it locked in. You're watching Hoops on Hoos. Small business owners need somebody that can open the door to financing. And at First National Bank of Sycamore, we love opening the door for financing opportunities. UIS Insurance and Investments, your hometown agency, providing a full range of insurance and financial services with a local touch. Contact your homegrown agent, Jeff Leopold, for a professional review today at 419-447-4242, extension 1144. You're watching high school basketball right here on Heart of Ohio Sports, the pulse of the Buckeye State. And we're back here at Tiffin Columbia and Gymnasium. We're here with the postgame show brought to you by your legacy, Federal Credit Union. And coming up next, we've got our player of the game brought to you by MST Sauce Company. And of course, who else would we give it to tonight? Come on, <laughs> 32 points. From the man, the myth, the legend, Logan Beeston himself. Man, what a game. So I want to talk to you a little bit about, I mean, first half, what'd you have, 13 points? Uh, something like that. I have no clue. 13, something like that. All right. Yeah. Right around that point. We're, Greg and I were talking about it. It's like, what did he have at halftime? You put on a show in that second half. What was your mentality coming out of the locker room? Just coming out of the locker room, I knew that we were down five and we had, we had to call back. We had to play hard and play good defense. It really started on the defensive end. Uh, we got stops, and we got out in transition, and got some open looks, and they started falling in the second half. Yeah, for sure. And you know, they played a very tight defensive style against you guys. I mean, a lot of these opportunities that you guys have had over the last few weeks, I mean, they weren't there tonight in the first half. Yeah. They really played shut down defense, especially in that second quarter. And I, I'm not going to get an interview, am I? <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on. <laughs> hey, you guys. Come on up, man. Come on up. Let's go. We got plenty of room up here, guys. Give him congratulations. There we go. That's a big deal. <laughs> Once again, so they had a plan, but you had a plan too, man. 32 points. Talk about what it means to you to take over that top spot as Columbian's all-time leading scorer. Uh, it's cool, but it's just another accomplishment. You know, uh, we're probably out of the league race this year, and that sucks. And team wins is always the goal, and hopefully we can get hot towards the end of the year and, and, and make a good run in the tournament. But it, it's cool for sure, and it's cool to see the hard work pay off but I'm just glad it could happen in a W, and we got to keep them coming. That's exactly right, man. It's key. It's so huge that this happens in a win. And, I mean, that was the biggest reason. <laughs> your play down the stretch is the biggest reason why we're here sitting and talking about a one-point win. But, I mean, you got to give some credit to some of the other guys around you too, man. Who do you, I mean, talk about 
how they kind of take pressure off of you and allow you to get into some shooting positions that, I mean, you got some nice shots out here tonight, and you got to give credit to some of these guys for getting you in those positions, you know? Yeah, you know, all, all of us put in the time and put in the work, and everyone was screening really, really well tonight. We were throwing guys open. The offense was clicking. Teammates set me up with really good passes, really good screens, and it really happened because in the first half, uh, they, they were doing all the scoring, so they had, they had to play better help defense, which, which opened me up a little bit. Now, Parker Schofield hit a game-winning three last night. He put on a show here tonight. He had 22 points. Now, in the second half, there were some opportunities there at the beginning of the third quarter and towards the end of that third quarter where he kind of – he had a couple of wide-open opportunities to just drive into the basket, drive to the lane. But then something happened there in that fourth quarter. You guys kind of clamped down. What was the what was the uh, the adjustment that you made there to kind of take away some of those good looks he had at the basket? We just had we had to get more physical with him and, and play better help defense. He's a heck of a player, and I'm sure he was getting a little deja vu, getting getting down the stretch, ready for another game winner. And we were too. I'm just glad it didn't happen again tonight. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, I got a question for you, Logan. Early in the game, you had a couple threes that you took and it was just slightly off. You just missed a little bit. Now, was this looming in the back of your mind, the point total, the score, the record coming up, and like, did it affect you at all when you just barely missed one of those early in the game? No, I, I genuinely had no clue. I don't pay attention <laughs> See, to any of that yeah, stuff. I told him, I told him during the game, I said, I bet you he's not even thinking about that no. right now, but everybody else is, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know that there were a lot of people that, you know, Gooding, Tony Gooding said something to me before the game. He's like, hey, he needs 29 to break it, 28 to tie it. I'm like, man, I wish he would. I hope he does it tonight in front of the home crowd before you guys go. got to go play B team. I mean, I didn't want it to happen there. You yeah. know, you don't want to have it happen there. No. It was a great thing to have it happen here in front of the hometown crowd. Once again, Logan, thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you, you coming appreciate on with it. us. Once again, our appreciate MSD job, Sauce thank Company you. player of the game. Thank you. Great job tonight, thank man. You. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. Appreciate thank you, guys. Appreciate you guys. Thank you once again. All right. Awesome. There we go. Awesome. That's what I'm talking. That's a player of the game interview right there. That one's one for the books. <laughs> I think that was a uh, team of the game interview there. With I love it. Behind them. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Every minute of it. It was great. And we had a crowd out here watching. It was awesome. So good. All right. Well, Greg, I don't think anything else can be really said about this one. That's all that can be said was just said. And we, I mean, <laughs> we could sit here and talk about it forever. But man. You just you gotta love the composure of that kid, man, and the mentality. Like you said, like I told you, Nate, I was like, I bet you he's not even thinking about nope. that. And without a doubt, that was his answer right there. He's like, it's not even on my mind. And I was like, I knew it. I knew it, man. This kid is a team player. He's just all about getting that W over anything else. Hey, Travis. Travis. <laughs> hey, hey, coach. I think we might be able to get coach on, maybe. Hey, that'd be cool. Hey, I mean, why not, man? Why not? We gotta talk to him. I mean, hey. I want to at least know what he thinks about it. <laughs> Get some of Logan's sweat yeah, off the uh, headphones here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the that's you want to come. <laughs> yeah, you actually get to be seen, <laughs> not just heard. <laughs> All right, coach. Man, what a ball game. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you guys had a. Uh, you know, got their money's worth tonight. Oh. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. You got your money's worth if you came. You got your money's worth if you were watching. Well, you didn't pay anything, but anyway. <laughs> no, what a, I mean, what a great win for you guys here tonight. Uh, you guys had to claw your way back, yeah. trailing at halftime. What would you say to the guys at halftime? Uh, you know, I thought we were doing okay with a lot of things in the middle of the second quarter. We got kind of tired, um, you know, and just stopped offensive rebounding. We were still running transition really well, but we didn't get into our offense when we didn't get anything in transition initially, and, and that was a, you know, that was a concern. And I thought the second half we corrected that a little bit. We just kind of got stagnant, um, tried to play a little too much one on one, and, and, and things broke down a little bit. Um, you know, we we weren't able to screen anybody because we weren't cutting, and, and just our offense. We were not very cohesive there. Uh, That's actually a point a while, that I brought so. up to Greg on the broadcast. Yeah. I said a little bit more ball movement from these guys. Get get some guys some more touches on the offensive yep. end. Yeah, and, and again, to, the, to our credit, we did a great job of running initially, but Anthony Wayne took away that initial you know scoring option for us and then forced us to play half-court offense, and we just kind of stopped playing half-court yeah. offense. Yeah, it got kind of physical down here, and it yeah, seemed like the fouls were going exactly – evenly for both sides necessarily. Did that play in a factor at all into you guys? Did it start to get into your heads at all when it felt like you were getting kind of almost treated uh, unfairly? You, you know, to, to our guys' credit, um, I, I don't think it got to their heads, and I, I forget what time it was 
But uh, there was a timeout where I told them when we were down four or five, and I said, when we take the lead with two minutes left and they don't have any team fouls and they have to start fouling us, it's going to hurt them. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and, you know, I, and just reassuring our guys that I have confidence in you, you should still have confidence in yourselves. You know, four or five points for us can happen in the blink of an eye as yeah. long as we're getting stops and we're getting rebounds. So, you know, t to our guys' credit, they buckled down. They got a lot of stops late, and we were able to get some easy points, and they, they made me look smart by, uh, you know, <laughs> making that statement come true, thankfully. All right, Coach, well, we talked before the season started, and we sat down at bench warmers, and I said, Logan's coming up on that point record, man. Yes, he was. And you said it's going to be right around this time of the year to be looking you, for Coach. some game around this time of the year. Well, you know, luck me have it that we were here to cover this game tonight because – Wow, what a performance here tonight by Logan. 32 points Yeah, as he takes over the all-time leading scorer. 24 of those in the second half, I believe. Now, what is yeah. the actual yeah. point total? Because I think Tommy was asking this earlier. Yeah, what well, is the total, okay. total, total point So he needed 14.43 to break. Okay, so that's um, Tony Eisenhardt's record. Correct, and he needed 29 to break, so he's three over that, so 14.46 is his total. Break. Well, there you have it, 1,446 points, and he's still got about five more games, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah and hopefully some tournament games as well, make a little <laughs> run. Um, you know, I, I think the great thing about him is too is that he's, game one he broke the all-time assist record here as well. Yeah. Um, you know, he, he's creeping up on all-time steals in, in the top three and, and defensive rebounds. And he, he does so much more than score the ball. Um, and people that haven't watched him play, uh, if you can get an opportunity to do that, he, he's a fun kid to watch play. Uh, yeah. You guys still have a few more home games left. A couple more on the road. you got to yep. start a two-game road trip now. I think the B team next. Yep. B and team then, and then a uh, little winter classic at Ottawa Glandorf. Yep. Um, get to play a really good Wayne Trace team uh, over west of 75. And uh, they're, they're really sound in what they do. And they, they're kind of similar to us. A lot of guys can score the ball. So it should be a really good matchup for us. And then you got three games at home to close out the yeah. season. We'll be here for the last one against Clyde. So yeah, Senior night, I believe, right? Yes. Yep. Yes, sir. We'll have a little something put together for that one for Excellent. sure. Excellent. All right. Well, Coach, I appreciate your time. Thank you yeah. once again. Thank you. Absolutely. Appreciate all you guys do for our kids. Absolutely. Thank you stuff. so much. Appreciate that. That means a lot. It really does. Keep it up. All right. Once again, 64-63 final score. Tiffin Columbian over Anthony Wayne. Logan Beeston, your all-time leading point scorer in Tiffin Columbian history with 1,446 total points and counting. <laughs> As uh, tonight he had 32. He needed 29 to break the record. And he found, finds himself now in the record books. In more categories than one now. Assists record, closing in on the defensive rebounds record. And now he's sitting atop the leaderboard as the all-time leading point scorer in Tiffin Columbian history. So <laughs> that's, that's a name that will echo throughout these halls for a very, very long time. Yes, absolutely. All right, well, once again, final score, 64-63. Tiffin Columbian moves to, I believe they are 13-4 and four on the season now. Yes, I believe that's right. And I Anthony they had Wayne. Three losses. Did they have four losses? Huh? They have four. Four. Okay. According to the SBC website, they have okay. four. Maybe they're wrong. I might have just been mixing them up in my bed. Yeah. So that puts them at 13 and four on the season. Anthony Wayne falls to nine and seven with the loss. But they I tell you, they're seven and two in league play in that Northern Lakes League. That's something to keep an eye on. This Generals team, <laughs> that's going to be a tough team to knock out come tournament play. Let me tell you that. Oh, yeah. All right. That's going to do it for Greg Kinn. And Bailey Mullins, I'm Nate Mullins, signing off from Tiffin Columbian Gymnasium. Once again, your final score, 64-63, Tiffin Columbian on top of Anthony Wayne. All right, folks, this has been the postgame show brought to you by your legacy Federal Credit Union. Please, if you got this far with us, make sure you share the video, like, follow, subscribe on all of our platforms, and please, please, please find our page on YouTube and hit that subscribe button. Thanks again, folks. Have a great night, everybody.